Hey, so I'm just going to um, come in and show a little bit more of the clay building up on the torso area. I've, I've come in here since the last video and did a little bit of work on the shell, the, um, the arms, the legs here. And I, actually, you'll notice that I've deleted the legs on this side and the claw on this side. And what I'm going to do is just um, do some symmetry and move those over um, once these are done so I don't have to sculpt them again. Um, but for, for now, I, I thought it would be helpful um, just to show a little bit more um, clay build up on the torso. So I'm going to hit BCB just to get that clay build up going. And um, I'm just going to start um, doing some of the just real rough outlining on this. Um, I can I kind of see the the panels of this guy. I'm gonna make this my draw size a little bit bigger. Um, I kind of see these panels just kind of working around. You know, each eye stalk is gonna kind of have a panel there, and um, the head is gonna kind of. We're not going to have to get too detailed on the back here because that's not going to be in the render here. But I thought it would be helpful just to kind of maybe, you know, sculpt a little bit of it in there. Kind of continue that if that might look good. Getting continued over. Um, something like that. And... Maybe we can have another row of spikes kind of coming through here. So just a little bit of smoothing. So that's just, you know, just as I showed you with the head, you got to start somewhere. So, and all, sometimes I don't even really know exactly what I'm doing just yet. So I just kind of just bu start building up a little bit of detail. Um, so yeah, let's just continue going around here and adding. So actually, I think this panel is probably going to be a little more separated like that. Um, there you go. Because they're going to, the, it's going to be like one, one kind of shell panel per eye stalk or per um, per per claw here so we'll do one uh, here where this claw will be coming out um, and actually that looks like it should probably come up a little Whoop. Let's see, we might want to move that claw down a little bit actually because that probably isn't going to fit that well to, to move the actual sculpting there. So um, another thing that I'm going to do is uh, when this claw here is finished, so, since I'm doing so much detail, I'm going to do so much detail on that, I'm going to click on this sub tool which is where, where I positioned them all in max and I'm going to uh, delete them and then we're going to just reposition in ZBrush um, using the move scale and rotate buttons when we get to that point. Right now they're just kind of there as a placeholder so I can see where I want to sculpt in these shell pieces and stuff like that. Um, so this is just really really roughing things at first. You can kind of zoom in and out a little bit just to see what's going on. And you're just, again, this is just roughly, roughly building things up. Let's see. Can just orbit underneath the body a little bit so you can kind of. Build this panel up. And we're going to want to do it maybe, maybe this. 
maybe this panel here maybe we'll have one in between here and maybe I can even put another little arm in there I don't know um, but we're definitely going to be having some panels here and building up around this for sure that's where his biggest arm is going to be so we're going to have quite a bit of shell popping out there and again we're not going to have to do too much detail underneath because um, really we're only going to see about probably something about that there um, and yeah we're not really going to see the back either so drawing a ton of detail on that back is going to be just pointless um, unless you're animating uh, and in this case I'm not I'm just you know we're just doing this one we're just doing one creature image here so this panel kind of comes up over this eye and then another one here it's looking pretty cool. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of a zoom out and I'm going to make my draw size a little bit larger and I'm going to hit shift to do some smoothing because this is really just the beginning stage of just starting to shape out where we want these things to be. And we're going to continue to come in here and add more detail. So, but already you can you kind of start to see where we're getting um, some of the details there. So let's zoom back in, and I'm just going to go back to my. Oh, I'm already on. Oh, now I'm on my blob. So let's do BCB again, and uh, let's lower that draw size again. So we're on some. Yeah, there you go. And this is just again. Now I'm not really sure. Well, you know, I'm not really sure. Sometimes you just you just it's kind of like just you just start and see where it leads. You start just start sculpting. Um, I actually did use an image reference for that one. Um, but you know the the back of this guy is so um, different than anything that actually exists. That at the moment I'm just kind of giving it some just some base texture. I think it probably would be good to pull when when we get into a little bit further detail to actually pull up. Um, probably would have continuing shell pieces like that something you know where it just continues around um, in the same kind of manner that's on the, the front um, let's see here let's kind of paint in a panel here on this leg under here probably be something like that and in throughout here I don't know maybe it's just another one coming in like that and like that it's kind of just smooth things out a little bit So again, you know, you don't want to get too crazy with that because you're not really even going to see it. But you do want to just cover the parts that will be seen. So that, let's build up a little here. Um, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm actually going to just do a solo to solo this piece. 
and let's just add a little bit of detail on this here. Let's unsolve all of that. Um, I had something going on like that on the tail. So let's take a look at that from the front. And that's looking, starting to look pretty cool. So the next step would be to just continue refining with um, the, the clay build up, go through and do another round. Um, just cleaning things up and refining things a little bit more. So I'm going to stop this video here, and then um, on the next video, we will um, clean this up and go a little bit further into some of those details.